<laughs> okay, just keep filming. Start over again. Okay. Hello. Whoa. I was having this awesome dream about picking truffles in our front yard. What about planting some truffles? Planting truffles? Yeah. You mean like these oak trees yeah. that give you truffles? Right. Well, hopefully that was funny because it was meant to be funny, but I ain't so funny. These right here are oak trees inoculated with some sort of truffle action. We're just gonna call it truffle action. Yes, oak trees that give you truffles. Oh. Welcome to Happy. These are truffle trees or oak trees inoculated with some sort of truffle action. They're from One Green World. They're really pricey. They're like that tall when they arrived, 50 bucks each or something like that. We had them uh, planted here kind of temporarily, still in pots, until we prepare the holes. We prepare the holes, we're ready to plant these girls. We're gonna dig them up very, very carefully. See what sort of roots are down here. Very gently get into our nice, happy soil. Look at that soil, I'm just pushing in with my hands. Oh boy. Now we have a Texas mulberry right above us. So I'm sure I'm getting some Texas mulberry roots, but these are coming up really, really nice. Let's see what we got. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Woo! We got her just in time. This is a nice young root. Nice. Look, all this kind of weird action around the roots there. Some. Man, it's just picking up all sorts of nutrients. Okay, we got one. And we got the other one here. We got these two girls out of their temporary spot. We're gonna get them out of the pot and planted. These are truffle bearing oak trees. From what I've read, these enjoy alkaline soil. So what we've done is added some lime to the soil. This is an old planting bed and it just has super, super crazy rich soil. We spread some biotone and lime over this soil and turn the soil with our shovels. This is our lime for the row. This is our high dollar marker. We're planting her 15 feet apart from the other fruit trees. We purchased two of these because I've read the more the merrier. Something to do with kind of probably a synergistic uh, quality. That or it was a great way to get me to buy more than one. When they came to us, they were literally these little stubs. In fact, just looking at the growth right here from my index finger on my left hand to here I think is about one year's growth I mean they came as super small plants they want full sun some shade is going to be okay it's a standard oak tree I believe it's a holly oak not a American holly but a holly oak the the species name will be down low. One Green World did something with like inoculation of truffles, truffle action. They recommend not fertilizing or adding lime after it's planted. So today is our opportunity to amend the soil with the lime to get to raise alkaline level. I'm gonna dig up this hole right here. Gonna take this puppy out let's see what its root system looks like we got her planted on a mound we love doing the mound thing 
So it's just a great way to make sure you have solid drainage, even though you have great soil. Don't know how much lime I want to add in here necessarily, but we always do the biotone. Probably going to do a little bit of lime. A cup of lime. Three quarter cup biotone. Get her a good mix. Mix it up nice. Make your final hole. Gonna get a little water in here. That's just a really pretty dry soil it was a very dry summer so we're gonna soak that up so there's some uh, moisture down low before we do that let's pop this open These are the sort of pots with the big hole down the bottom, so sometimes it's easier to push down. It's sort of compact, even though there's a lot of perlite in here. So that has a tendency to not allow water to get as deep into, into the pot as possible. It's a catch-22, risking overwatering. Uh, overwatering is always a risk very dry she wants to fall apart so we're going to get her into the ground here so she's going to be positioned right about there we're going to do a little soaking before we finally plant her we soaked the hoil we soaked the hole really good the hoil or the hole whatever you want to call it we're easy and we're going to soak the shit out of this because this is bone dry. Bone, bone dry. So got to figure out its height here. Its height. And we can put a little soil back in there. Because we want her on a mound. Oh, got to work on that measuring stick. I'll be right back. Um. Cool. Okay. I'm going to tweak her forward a little bit. Get her right into there, 15 foot. Stake her so she's straight up and down. this lovely lovely soil in and around her and start building up this mound okay so we're gonna leave a little bit of a well here because it's just so bone dry we're gonna want her to get plenty of moisture so we're gonna this is a fall planting, it's middle of November, so we're just gonna soak her really good and it's gonna be the last water she gets for the year. We'll come back, we'll come back in the spring, we'll come back in the spring and, uh, and revisit the watering, but for now we're just gonna soak, soak, soak She's bone dry. And I don't know when we're getting truffles, but she's about to give us something. But if you're interested in 
learning how to get truffles? Subscribe, please. So I don't know how soon we're gonna get truffles, but if you're interested in seeing how this unfolds, please subscribe to our channel. Follow us as we stand up, grow, harvest, learn how to work our oak, our truffle bearing oak trees. We're gonna go ahead and finish up watering. Then we're gonna skirt this with a really nice layer of wood chips. Stay tuned. Got ourselves a nice mound. Top it off with a crazy amount of wood chips. Not only do the wood chips keep moisture in and and uh, you know promote fungus growth, promote this, that, the other. It's a great way to keep weeds down. So we just adore our wood chips. We still have this string in the way because we have one more truffle bearing oak tree to go. This one here is kind of a little funny growing. It's got that two stem action going. We could very well grow it that way. Maybe even grow it a little more like a bush. Subscribe to our channel. Check out how we harvest our truffles. So like the other one, I can feel that this is very, very dry. Turn her upside down. Keep all the root system you can. And give the pot a squeeze. Okay, don't make me look retarded. Boy. So we're gonna keep giving this plant a squeeze all the way around. Give it a very gentle tug and a gentle push and there it is. Boy, this has a really, I like this root here. What I noticed right away, this is much better rooted than the other one. And it's got this beautiful root right here. This may even be somewhat of a tap root. I did not see this on the other tree. It's got really a weird something going on in here. It's very unusual looking. You can see that one green world put a lot of perlite in there, right? So it's super, super airy. Very interesting. Let's get this in place. We're gonna have two trunked tree here. We're gonna dig a hole for that tap root. So I just plowed with my hand straight down to give that tap root a place to go. That's about our height. Got to pull a little higher. Okay. Oh shit. My line's way over here. Oops. It's not easy being anal. The tap root's on my side, but what I've done is I <clears throat> tucked it further down the hole below me. That's gonna be pretty good right there. Loosen up some roots before we put in more soil. This one's a lot easier. This tree is much easier to work with. It's far more uh, well rooted. Okay. Don't have to overdo it. Like I'm starting to overdo it. Okay.
gonna call that good. Okay, and now we're gonna work on creating a mound. So we're gonna go, well, first, like the other tree, first thing we're gonna do is create a little bit of a well and soak, 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 because these trees were really, really dry. So we're gonna soak the heck out of this, and that way we don't have to water for the rest of the winter. We'll check her out in spring and give her a good shot of water when she wakes up. Now, this tree is an evergreen, but they really, all evergreens here in zone seven really like slow down. They don't do much of anything. The green tea plant, the strawberry tree, hollies, the American holly, they really slow down their mojo in the winter. So we just want to give her a good shot of water. Then we'll create that mound. If you're interested in seeing what truffles look like coming from an inoculated oak tree, please subscribe to our channel. Follow us as we stand up these oak trees, harvest our truffles. We'll, you'll see how long it takes, how much we harvest. We have the two close to one another. I believe that's going to help activate what's going on. Take care of yourself. Take care of someone else if you can. Love you. Bye.